Maine's brilliant fall foliage season is underway, drawing more people outdoors to hike and hunt. But experts say fall is also the most active time of year for deer ticks, which carry Lyme disease and other illnesses. So far this year, according to the Maine CDC, there have been 862 cases of Lyme, 531 cases of anaplasmosis, and 146 cases of babesiosis, the most common tick-borne diseases. This time last year, there were more than 630 cases of Lyme. Those numbers are expected to increase as more adult deer ticks emerge over the next few months. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more from Freeport. Crisp and cooler temperatures are luring more people to the leafy trails at Wolf's Neck State Park. Susan Sheffer and her family are avid hikers. They know that deer ticks carry Lyme disease and other infections, and now they're seeing more of those ticks during their walks, which is why they always have repellent on hand. Plus, as soon as we get in the car, we check ourselves, and I always comb the dog's hair and my hair when I get home. Always, just just to make sure. As we move into the fall, we are going to see that, that adult stage again. Griffin Dill runs a University of Maine tick lab. He says deer activity is ramping up as the young ticks, known as nymphs, which emerge in the summer, turn into adults. You know, has now had multiple opportunities to feed on an infected wildlife host uh, and can, of course, then be infected itself. Now, Dill says the number of adult deer ticks will increase over the next several weeks, and that's expected to continue until temperatures drop below freezing for an extended period of time. He says they'll be laying eggs, looking for mate, and a final host for the season. Of the 1,670 deer ticks sent into the lab this year, nearly 40 percent have tested positive for the bacteria that causes Lyme. The good news? Dog tick activity has winded down. The lab received 2,800 samples in 2021, an unprecedented number. The annual average is around 500 but none tested positive for pathogens for diseases that can affect both people and their pets. Rocky Mountain spotted fever, ehrlichiosis, tularemia, uh, and those things are, are really quite rare in general and, and aren't generally seen here in the state of Maine, and, and that's been reflected so far this year. Dill is encouraging people heading outside to wear protective clothing, use EPA-approved repellents with DEET or pomethrin, and do regular tick checks. As for Susan, a number of her friends have suffered greatly following a tick bite. I probably know 20 people who have had Lyme and <clears throat> who you know, are dealing with the after effects of it later on. A tough reminder of how precautions against deer ticks are so key to help keep her family and pets safe. In Freeport, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.